Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelechi and I'm a cover expert. Today I'm going to be showing you how I created this design. This is an African quaint design. I did this design a long time ago so I just felt the need to create a tutorial on it. So in case anybody wants to try it out you can just go ahead and do so. Now without wasting much time let's just jump right into the tutorial. Now please if um, if this is your first time of coming to my YouTube channel, please kindly subscribe. And also, I would love for you to turn on post notifications because what I usually do is when I create a tutorial, most times I go over to my Facebook page because I have some audience there who would love to know about or learn about Canva. And then I share um, the YouTube thumbnail directing them to come over here and watch it, my YouTube channel, of course, and do the same thing on WhatsApp. So maybe sometimes I might not have the time to do that. So I would really suggest that you turn on post notifications. So anytime I create a tutorial, you will be notified and then you can watch it. All right. Now to the tutorial, this is the design and the dimensions I used for this design was 5,000 by 4,000 as the width as this part is 5,000 and the height, if I'm not mistaken, Yep, the height is 4,000. Now let's start. Now the first thing I'm going to work on will be the background, which is this. So I'll go to photos. Let me see if I can get the exact, the exact keyword. Okay, if I can't, I'll just copy and paste because of time. Now um, the background is colored dust explosion on a black background. I just hope they get they have the particular one I'm looking for which one which is this I think it's this it has to be there's a green and the blue and there's a red please where are you I think it has to be here a green and a red but because of time I think we can just select any one of these any one of these I think I'm finding it's hard to get the particular one I'm looking for but like I said if I cannot locate it the particular one that I'm searching for I'll just have to copy and paste which is okay I can't find it so how do I copy this copy it copy and then paste it here so this is the background this should be here come on it should be here somewhere well uh, our time is going so we have a background which is this okay I'm just gonna confirm is it now the next thing I did was um where are you okay now we have our images these are the images I use for the ladies and I'm going to work on the background and the first thing I'm going to do is go to element and search for African background this is it this is the one I used Half to the back, reduce the transparency to a 10. I think just to be sure this doesn't look like a 10. Okay, yep. So duplicate this bring it here also we are not done we have the background then this images they all got it from canva photos just search for um you can either search for african woman african beauty african model there's a lot of images you're going to see 
but because I did this a long time ago, I will not get to see these images at the top. I have to scroll all the way to the bottom. And because we don't have that much time, I'm going to, going to use this one. It's the one I so this one is going to be here. This one is going to be here. This one, sorry, this one is going to be here. Just pardon, pardon the lens. Okay, so now it's time to reduce the transparency. Reduce transparency of this one to 15. Do the same here. To reduce it to 15. Do the same here. Reduce it to 15. Do this. Reduce it to 15. Okay, so now we have the images uh, in the background. The next thing I'm going to do is this image. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The image of this African, um, the image of this African continent was not gotten on canvas. So, it was not gotten on canvas. Okay, this particular image was not gotten on Canva. It was I downloaded it online, so this is where it's going to be. I downloaded this particular image online. This image here, so you can do the same. And then let's select our images. Image, As you can see, this is one two and this is three okay if you notice make sure that they are on the same line please go to the back see our images on the same line this is okay it's right here in the middle Like I said, you cannot get these images on Canva. All of them, the image of the lady is just actual African model. And you're going to see a whole lot. So we are here. What else? This image in the back. This image in the back. This image was... Um, sorry. This image is... Um, I got it on... Just search for it on Triangogo and I saw it. Then the next thing, which is this, where are you? This is it. Let me show you how I was able to do this. Okay, this is it. This is the image of Africa. Okay. So how I may you notice here it's shiny at the back. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Okay. So select this image, change everything to a yellow. A yellow. Okay, then bring it here. Now this is an element, not an image. So because it's an element and not an image i cannot apply any effect or filter on it so what did i do i downloaded i downloaded as a transparent background as an image yep page three done
case of African PNG, then I uploaded it back into Canva. And this is it. This is it. Now it's an image and not just an element. Here I can now edit it. I increase the brightness, okay, to a 36. And then increase the blur to 15. Now this is it. So this is it. I'm just going to tweak it and make sure that it fits. I'm going to make sure that it fits. Hopefully it's going to okay. Yep, yep, yep. This fit. Then I'm going to reduce transparency a bit. So it's not hundred percent perfect. Although if I were to create the design now, I would definitely do it differently. But I'm just showing you how, just in case. So then I'm going to take this up and then we have this now let's continue element search for blur I need to see the exact one graphics I'm going to search for the exact one that I used if I get to see it blur 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 where are you I'm looking for the exact one I used here okay this is this is the this is the one i used i'm going to change this to all black 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 and black okay this side is covered black oops this is covered covered the okay then i'm going to duplicate think the transparency for this was 82 Okay, so I'm going to duplicate this and bring this one here. We have 82. Duplicate this again. Now this one, 100. Just for me to cover everything. Duplicate this again. Duplicate this and cover everywhere. Now the next thing I'm going to do is okay now the text I'm going to add the text now African 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 now the font I used was an exa script next that script I'm trying to make this as detailed as possible so 6 is 5 African here make sure it's in the middle just so okay African then Queen okay no the first thing I changed this one the AF to uh, green and this one yellow sorry this this one yellow and then the a n red so we have african then queens hey. Q U E E N S. Change this color to white. Now the font I used for this was Fredoka One. Fredoka One, a hundred would be okay. Then letter spacing. Letter spacing for this particular queen's text. I think it was 
600 or thereabouts. I'm going to leave it here. So, we have African Queens. Now, the... Okay, um, sorry. I added something African map. I think I used this the one I okay, I think I use this one. Change the color to white, bring it somewhere here. Yes, yes, yes. And then I think the transparency was reduced a bit. So African queens. We are almost done with this design. We are almost done. What else? What else? Everything is okay. Now, if you notice here, there's something at the bottom. Every other thing is checking out now. The last part. How did I get that? So, I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I went to shapes. Good to use. Went to shapes and then reduce this. Okay. So this here. Bring it here. Then I just played with the colors, duplicate, make this a red, duplicate green, duplicate this color. Duplicate um, orange, duplicate that color. Was there a white? Did I add the white color here? Okay, no white. So we have this now. Duplicates. Bring it here. Duplicate. Bring it here. Hope oh, it's getting to 20 minutes. <laughs> I didn't want it to take that long, so I'm duplicate this again. Okay, so here we are. Need to copy this, group all of this, and then copy it just bring it here then drop it just at the bottom now this one is quite big but you get the point so that was how i was able to achieve this design wow it's almost 20 minutes <laughs> i'm sorry so you can try something like this you can try it, it looks nice it looks beautiful and please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and try this design if you can. It's really colorful and this kind of design is an attractive design. This design, let me not talk much about this design. I made the post about this design um, sometime this year or last year. Let's just say it's a design that carries favor. So if you try it, maybe you too might get the same favor that I got when I did this design. Alright, so bye-bye for now. Take care.